put on the bolt. Put on the bolt. Find a bolt. Good job, buddy. That's really good. Hey, strong people, Kale Beck here from startingstrongman.com. Today I'm setting up yet another home gym. I was doing a series on how to build a strongman gym, home gym for under $5,000 in a one car garage. Then I moved again and I'm back in California. Today, I'm going to talk about, I got this power block stand from Titan Fitness. Here's all the pieces to it. There's two little legs. It's nice heavy duty. Pretty heavy duty and then there's uh, little bolts welded into it, little studs. Pretty decent metal, not super thick, but shouldn't need to. So I have these giant up to 125 pound version something power blocks, which I've had since 2008. So that would be 12 years, which I paid way too much money for at the time, but I've got my use out of them. Don't know why I ever needed the 125 pound expansion set, uh, but I had uh, the power block stand, which is not great. Saw this one for only 100 bucks on Titan Fitness. You can find a link in the description which if you use that will give me some more money so I can buy more things to tell you about. So right now, I'm gonna put the stand together. Here's all the pieces. There's the platform, two little stands, that little thing, which it says it's so it doesn't tip, but I think it's so you trip over it. A little connection, and these are little pegs to put more plates on, and the assortment of bolts, which thankfully has not been ripped open, and the patented Titan multi-tool rather go to Planet Fitness than ever put anything together using that. So let's put this thing together and then check it out and see how it works supporting 250 pounds of power blocks. It comes with a couple of bolts, two sizes. These are for every, these put the little pegs for the extra weight plates on and this is for everything else, some washers, some lock nuts. Both take a 5.8 socket. So you're gonna need 5.8 sockets and wrenches or use that multi-tool if you hate yourself. I love this M12 ratchet. This isn't the fuel one, but it works just fine. Um, they sell a great set, Milwaukee M12 starter set, which has this and some other stuff for like a $200 with two batteries. And, impact driver, a uh, drill, and like a flashlight, I think. And yeah, two batteries for like $199. It was just on sale. I highly recommend getting that if you ever see that. Sometimes it's at toolnut, toolnut.com or Home Depot. And I don't have affiliate links for either one of those companies, which I wish I did. So first thing I'm gonna do, I think it goes like this. This is the high end because because it slants down. You get this little brace thing. It makes sense to put this in first. I'm gonna go ahead and bolt that up. It's always a tough decision. Do you put bolts out or nuts out? We take the front piece, which has the Titan logo or sticker on it, which is already peeling, and it slants forward like here. We bolt it to this end of the cross brace, but don't forget your toe stubber. Over the front. Like that. So now the base is mostly assembled. You want to take the stand.
say it's a great buy if you already have a set of power blocks. The power block stand is pretty not great and flimsy. This looks a lot better, it's a lot more solidly put together. That one was the old one, it's such thin metal that uh, Titan's an upgrade from that. Uh, you can get it through a link in my description. And if you buy anything through that link, it helps me out and I buy more equipment to do more videos.